definitely not. I mean, um, I suppose because we're quite busy, like, we do miss out on, on a little bit like that. But um, no, I still sort of, um, yeah, I mean, getting <laughs> drunk for the first time, I suppose. You still have, we still have those sort of experiences and stuff like that. So um, yeah, we don't really, I don't really feel like we've missed out that much. I think we were just quite careful choosing not to do it in the public eye. I mean, either you, you know, you have your first cigarette or you, you know, have your first glass of alcohol, you know, in a safe environment with your close friends or you choose to do it at, you know, a nightclub in the middle of London and you come out and you can't walk and <laughs> you just, you know, you just, I think all of us just live quite private lives, quite low-key, quite normal lives and you don't really, the press don't really get the chance to... Um, Fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's get another question down the front here. Uh, you're doing all the running now, so sorry. Chat with the glasses. Hello. Um, for the three uh, heroes. Um, <laughs> until now, you were you filmed this movies in the, in a schedule according to the child labor rules uh, uh, with few hours and all that. So you. I think most of you are going to be 18 for the next, next film, so are you prepared now for the long hours of work? And was that a factor, you know, to accept to be on the rest of the films? Another question. You said that the we press... We have that one, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, you said that until now the press has been nice, you know, with, with all of you. I sometimes think that that's because you are underage. Do you think that will it change, you know, when you turn into 18? And a question for David. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Please, you have to tell us if you have talked in any way with J.K. Rowling about the last book and, I don't know, preparing for the last film also. Okay, well let's, let's start with David, because I imagine, David, you can talk about the, the child working labour hours as well. I think we're going to um, uh, keep, you know, Emma's, Emma's um, going to be studying for her A-levels, and I think, I think we want to keep the hours the same. I think it's worked very well, and I think we'd would be fools to do otherwise. I think that Dan, you know, Dan and Rupert uh, want to, um, you know, have the time to explore their other interests within the framework of the film, and I think it's important they have the opportunity to pursue that. So that's that question with, for me. Um, with regard to book seven, I know a little bit, but not much, and I wouldn't tell anybody even if I did know what happens, which I don't. I don't know what happens. I just, you know, when we work on, I mean, when. You know, we've, David, the, the three Davids and Michael um, had a fantastic meeting with Joe uh, when we were discussing, you know, when we were discussing the, the script. I mean, we, it's, it's, it's such an um, exciting time whenever you get to spend any, any time with Joe. Um, and when you're talking about, we show her drafts of the script so that she can make sure that we're not going off the rails, you know, making sure we're not doing something that will have a negative effect for us, frankly. Um, when we come to make, hopefully we will, the seventh, um, the seventh film. So, you know, there was a time, for example, on, on this one where there was, there was a character who we'd cut out and Joe's, you know, Joe read the script and she said, um, I wouldn't do that if I were you because uh, that character is quite important in the future. So that character found his, her, their way back into the, the film. Um, I know who it is, but I'm not going to tell any of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it, so, so no, I don't know what happens. I, I really don't. I don't know who dies. I don't know who lives. I don't know what the battles are. I know nothing like that. But um, you, know, you do get a sense from the end of Six that this is going to be a bit of a, a road movie, or rather it's not going to be all at Hogwarts. Beyond that, I really don't. I don't really know. But just quickly ask them, Emma, you're the, the only one still in education, so you're still going to make your A-levels work. 